of all of the books, <clears throat> this one might have had the biggest impact on my career, like my my marketing uh, career, which is uh, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Um, and it's Robert Persig, um, amazing book um, for so many, so many things. I, it's also a book that I revisit a lot. Um, and so the one lesson that I'll pay it forward here and and sort of say that, you know, sort of has, there's many lessons in it, but the one that really gets to me is uh, substance versus popularity, right? So it's something that we face as content people all the time. Like we think, well, what's great content, right? What is, so is it popular or is it substantive? Because not all the time can it be substantive and not all the time can it be popular, right? And it's rarely both. It's rarely that we get the, 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 the sort of magic comes together and we create something that is truly substantive and truly meaningful, you know, as a, as practical, you know, sort of usefulness and also goes viral, right? Goes, goes incredibly. And that tension between popularity and substance is something that they talk, uh, that Persig talks a lot about in Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, where he talks about the fact that you can't have a quality ride on a motorcycle that hasn't been properly maintained. In other words, you can't have a great ride on a motorcycle if you haven't done the maintenance on the motorcycle itself. So you, a quality ride is, of course, the wind in your hair, everything you're doing, you see the great sights, you don't even think about the motorcycle, right? You're just having this most amazing ride. And then, of course, maintaining the motorcycle, you're focused in on the details and the gears working and everything working and everything together. And so basically, without the great ride, there's no purpose in maintaining the motorcycle. And without maintaining the motorcycle, you're never going to have a great ride. So you have to be able to balance both and sort of live with that sort of the balance and the tension between those two things of creating substantive things that no one may ever notice and that also creating the popular things that make you feel good and feel you feed your ego and make you do all those things and it's such a it's such a powerful lesson mm -hmm.